Hey YouTube, hey I just got back from Cancun two days ago and if you're like me searching uh, prior to your trip about how you're going to get tested and what it's going to be like when you get to the airport, I'm going to share all that information, kind of my experience with uh, getting tested and then also getting to the airport and all of these, all those good details. So um, I'm sure if you're probably aware that the CDC is now requiring COVID tests for any travelers that are traveling outside, that are uh, outside the U.S. traveling back to the United States. Uh, and you can either take an antigen test or a PCR test. So down in Cancun, um, we were down in Tulum, Valladolid, and also in Cancun. And we found in Tulum, there was uh, numerous testing places available. Uh, just driving down the street, you'll see them. Uh, the average, uh, from our experience, we found that the antigen test was about 45 uh, US dollars and the PCR is much more expensive. I think it's about three times more expensive. So. Uh, for the most part, everybody's going to want to get an antigen test. Um, when we were in Vial de Lead, we thought for sure that there would be cheaper tests there, but we actually only could find one lab that did tests uh, for people that weren't, um, uh, I guess, maybe locals. I, I imagine at hospitals and whatnot, you could get tested if you're a local, but uh, for what we were looking for for traveling, there was only one laboratory, and they wanted 45 USD too. So uh, we knew that our, air, um, our hotel in Cancun provided testing for 45 US dollars. So we were like, oh, we'll just might as well do that because it'd, it'd be at our hotel. So we we were thinking about doing that, but then at the same time, we saw that the, at the airport, they were testing for, they were doing antigen tests for 17 US dollars or 290 pesos. And since we were traveling with four people, uh, my family, along with actually uh, two others. So there are six of us. So we saw a lot of value in like, um, if we were to go to the airport, we would save a lot of money, the six of us. And however, we didn't want to show up the same day as our flight. So what we ended up doing was showing up, it was a Sunday at around 10 a.m. the day before our flight. And um, there was only like three or four people ahead of us. And I would say it probably took us like 20, the, the line was about 20 minutes to get to where we actually went into the mobile testing unit. It's right outside the terminals. I think there's three or four. I think each terminal has a testing center. Uh, the, the one we went to was two, and the only reason why we went to two was because um, when we drove there, the parking lot to park your car was at Terminal 2. And, and just so you know, the parking is 46 pesos an hour. So um, once, we, once we filled out the paperwork, it was a simple paperwork, just had your name and email and um, just that you consented to being tested. Um, you handed it to the guy in the lab uh, he filled out your paperwork. We brought our passports, which I recommend. I'm, I imagine any ID would work, but I didn't ask, so I'd bring your passport just to be, be sure. And then after he fills out the paperwork, he asks you for payment. He'll take either uh, cash, um, either pesos or USD, so 290 pesos or 17 US dollars. Um, and, or he'll take credit card as well. So we end up paying with credit card. And then after that's all finished, then you go into the next room, which is the lab, lab um, where the people are suited up in full like hazmat gear. Um, and they'll do a nasal swab for you. And then, um, then it takes about 30 minutes to get your results for the antigen test. Uh, in fact, um, we were planning on just leaving because they also email it to you as well. But I ended up having to, for parking, you actually have to go inside the terminal to pay for your parking. So on my way back from, um, we tried to leave initially and then we figured out that we couldn't leave without going in the terminal to pay. So I had to go inside, pay. And then from there, I decided to stop by and see that they had the lab results, which they did. So we got our lab results really quick, um, paper copy, and then we drove off and we enjoyed the rest of the day. Um, you know, you could make it, you know, on your way there, you could get lunch or, or, or something. Um, so it's not just, um, but you know, from the hotel zone in Cancun, it's about 20, uh, 25 minute drive. Um, so, uh, it's, um, it probably took us about three hours to do. Um, so they, you know, the, the lab at the airport, they also do the PCR test, but of course you need to give yourself more time. I think it's 24 to 48 hours. They need to do that test. Um, from, and then the following day when we went to the airport, we ended up, um, so make sure to arrive at the airport at two hours early at minimum. We showed up a little bit late, like an hour and a half and the queue to get into the American airlines to talk to the um, ticket agent 
was like all the way through the queued lines and then it was starting to go down the terminal. Luckily they were calling for our flight and you know we just were really lucky in that we were able to get to the front of the line because uh, we probably would have missed our flight. Um, and then from there you show the boarding agent or the ticket agent your uh, COVID results. And essentially uh, all he's doing is looking at your COVID results that your name match what's on your passport and your boarding ticket. Uh, you know, they're what they didn't scan anything. Uh, they just, he's just verifying it. Uh, it's just the, the, the ticket agent that's uh, verifying this information. Um, so, um, so after that, you can put away your, your results. You, you probably won't need them, but I would put them someplace close. Um, so that if someone asks for them, you'll have them, but they ne we never had to show them at the U S customs agent border, um, or, um, agent. And then uh, one other thing to note too is that uh, once we got through the line to get our tickets, we thought you know we were safe. But once you get to security, uh, Mexico has a questionnaire that you're gonna have to fill out. And if you're like everybody else that wasn't aware of this, you're in a frantic mode because uh, what they're requiring is that you log into a website. Uh, the airport does have Wi-Fi, but you first have to you know get to the Wi-Fi, which can be tricky sometimes because um, you know it's like free Wi-Fi airport. And then from there, you have to scan like a UR type code, and that will take you to the website where you fill out your name, uh, airlines that you're flying, the flight number, your seat number, and then essentially where you've been the last 14 days. And also, it'll ask you a questionnaire on like, you know, if you're having, if you have a fever, essentially, like, do you have COVID or not? Um, from there, what you want to do is take a screenshot. Uh, after you hit enter, it gives you another UR code that you that they're actually going to scan. Uh, when they check your 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 passport and your boarding information prior to going into the security to you know through the x-ray machine so um, take a screenshot of that because if you're um, so you don't lose it plus too if you're traveling with more than one person you actually need to have one of those questionnaires per person so um, from there once you have a screenshot, then you can hit back on that questionnaire and it'll take you back to the page that you can fill out and you can just, just modify the person's name, the seat number, and um, and then you can hit enter again and then it'll give you a new, um, you know, completion of questionnaire form, you know, like a, a document that you can screenshot again. We had to do that for four people for, um, for my family and then we were traveling with uh, two of our friends. Um, so anyhow, that can be a little tricky, especially when there's like everybody was like frantic, like, you know, this was all new. So um, nobody was expecting to have to do this at the airport. So after that, we uh, made it through security onto our flight and everything was fine. Nothing else uh, of noteworthy to tell you. Um, anyhow, um, I'm hoping that this is this this information is going to be val of value to you. Uh, if you would, please leave a comment or um, like uh, and subscribe. Thanks.